Today is the first day of school. Mom says senior year is magic because that's the year she met Dad. I don't expect to meet the man I'll marry or anything. But it'd be nice to be swept off my feet and consumed by passion. First class. Meet me here at three. Hi. Hey, Melanie. <laughs> How you doing? I'm so nervous. <laughs> Listen, you gotta get your own wheels, man. You're not gonna snag any guys if your dad drives you to school every day. That's all there is to it. Our senior year less is time to cultivate a new image. I was just reading that preppies are out and yuppies, young urban professionals, are in. Maybe we should go on the pill. Mm -hmm. It's Douglas. Douglas Daldorf. Bless, there's Max. Oh, what a species. Oh, is that Hindenburg? Mel, you don't even have to. I mean, do you remember to take your vitamins? Can you imagine having to take the pill, too? Here, don't forget your retainer. Thanks. Bye, Daddy. You don't have to pick me up tonight. You want some bubble gum? Oh, yeah, thanks. She made an appointment with her guy. Why did you get the pill? At least your mom talks about it. Mine just left a book about the birds and the bees on my bed. <laughs> she must be new. I already hate her guts. Yeah, there is something strange about that girl. <laughs> girls! Girls, may I have your attention, please? Wow, you got it now! This is the male sex organ. <laughs> Gee, I thought it was a snow cone. <laughs> Consider it the enemy! Hey, man, it's not like you're unique. A lot of guys our age haven't been laid. Look, I, I gave her a couple of these and she raped me right in the john, huh? I looks 14, yeah, Max. probably hallucinating. Everybody's getting it with me. <laughs> She's got to be new. I couldn't have missed those. Alan! So did you get laid this summer? <laughs> Max, how do you feel, buddy? Good, good. Hey, Max, who's the shadow? Oh, this is Farouk. He's staying at my place this semester. No shit! All right! Give me five, man. All right, I give you five dollars. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's, give me five. That's a greeting. Yeah, see, it's, it's like this. Here. I get you now, Max. Go on, give to me five. Uh, you, 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 give to me five, all right? <laughs> hey, very funny to be here in the United States. Yeah, all right.
catch the new principal? I heard he used to run a military school. What a jar head. It's more like a potato head to me. <laughs> Carp. Hey, Max, how's it going? It's good, so, Carp. Uh, you like America, huh? You run on the mill VD. It's curable. Herpes comes with a lifetime guarantee. So just remember this. You can eat all the apples you like, but sooner or later, you're gonna bite the worm. Virginity has its advantages. Not for me. This is my last year as a celibate. I haven't forgotten what it's like to be young and horny. Just don't you forget those aren't squirt guns you're packing, and you're not shooting blanks. It only takes one shot to ruin your life. Not to mention the girls. If anyone ever did that to one of my girls, I'd... I'd have his balls for lunch. Attention. Attention, please. I'm sorry, the bell has rung. This semester, we will be studying animal reproduction. We will start with single cell organisms, and we will progress through the animal kingdom, focusing on the reproductive cycles of spirogyra, flatworms, squids, cats, Maybe and Maybe an man. older woman. I'm sure you all share my breathless excitement as we strip away the mystery surrounding the biological process of reproduction. May I tell you, class, that in your enjoyment of this class, you will be limited only by your sincerely believe hi i'm liz no biology simpson one must do biology class so is that let us embark on this adventure let us begin our first laboratory experiment all right please pay it's just sort of something like that lab partners it's like it might be good stations. stephanie graham and mill table station one jackie freeman and john bergdahl station two <laughs> alan hall and leslie hindenburg station three ah beg me for more alan. you brazen wench Alan. Alan Hall? Yes, Alan Hall, you're at uh, Lab Station 3 with Leslie Hindenburg. Thank you. In front of you, Hi. you will find the Hi. magic keys to the best of I'm sure you all share my awe at the way a single cell can reproduce and reproduce again and again. Like the Osmond family. <laughs> Even the most innocuous of looking substances can be, well, they can be teeming with fertile microorganisms. I will now come around to every couple and give you your very own bread molds. Bread molds. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's lunchtime. You got any peanut butter molds to go with us? Salami mold and some lettuce mold. Who's <laughs> coming? Alan, will you light my Bunsen burner? I don't think I can handle it alone. Alan, would you light my Bunsen burner? Three times a dollar fifty is four fifty, right? Mm -hmm. People stay out later? Jenny, did you put that in the washer? It's my bra! She snitched my bra! It fits! You wish. Take it off, Jenny. You'll get a training bra when you're 13. I'm the only one in PE who still wears an undershirt. I didn't get a bra till I was 14. Nobody escorted me on my first babysitting job. But your father drove by the house every hour? Only to make sure no boys were hiding in the bushes. And if Dixie D Cup doesn't move it, we're gonna be late. Jenny! Don't have to shout. Whoa well, there! What about dinner? I'm on a diet. Sounds like anorexia to me. Does your pitiful existence have to revolve around buggy me, twit brain? Mom! She called me a twit brain. There are better words in the dictionary, Leslie. What kind of people are these Stonemans? Who cares? They're spending the evening with their infant. I'm gonna call you every hour or so, make sure everything's a okay. Bye. Bye. Because you never know when you'll take a blow. Today's active mail. It's so quiet when the girls are gone. You'll get that 24-hour protection and comfort when you use the testy screen. Keep your place.
So then she asked me to light her Bunsen burner. Is that a good sign? Sounds hot to me. What, are you waiting for a formal invitation? Well, maybe files are bad subject or something. My own brother, a sexual retard. All I think about all day is sex. That's a good sign. I mean, I look at everybody and I think they know what it's like. I've got this huge black hole in my life, you know? No. I mean, why aren't girls as horny as I am? It's just not fair. Yeah, what can I say? Sex is a stacked deck and women hold all the cards. Better get used to it. Thank you. Time I put this goddamn machine out of its misery. Bad attitude. Good arm. Feeling better, sunshine? I wish I was dead. Well, Dr. Renata's got just your prescription. Look, I just tossed my cookies, okay? I mean, enough is enough, really. She's a slow starter. There's a tiger in her tank. That guy wrote the book on how to strike out. Betty's been laid, though. <laughs> your time will come. Think positive. And now, what about your bio partner? Leslie Hindenburg's my bio partner. Coach Kong's daughter? I hope she's not built like her old man. Well, no, she's a fox. Oh, well, so hit on her. You're right. I like your nose where it is. These are supposed to be the best years of my life. Maybe if you went blonde or something. I'd still be stuck with the same geeky guys. Wait a minute, Les, I see a ray of hope. God, the man of my dreams is alive and well on KBBZ. God, what a turn on. Quite Emmett is still on the go, as he proved late last night when he rolled his wheelchair out of the VA hospital and onto the San Diego freeway on-ramp. He's a little too Ken doll for me. I mean, there's no pain or passion in his face. It's too perfect. Oh, I'm Sir, not about perfection. Wait. Ted Vincent, he's my man. You won't believe this. She's got a vibrator. Good work, Les. She's on a roll. What's it for? Curling your hair. I wonder if Ted's into electronics. Earth to Les. Listen, I gotta go. The Gestapo's gonna be calling, checking up on me. Okay, I'll catch you later. Cancer? It's no joke, Mel. It looks exactly like a classic melanoma. Have you forgotten your cold last spring? And you swore it was TB. It was a severe case of strep now. And besides, melanoma's different. For starters, it's almost always fatal. I haven't seen you in a long time. How's your mother? She's fine. Good. Now, let me check the, uh, the area of the mole. I'm only checking for raised areas. Doesn't look like an ordinary mole, does it? Uh, don't be an alarmist, Leslie. I'm only checking for coloration. Oh. Looks pretty dark and sinister, huh? Now, oh, now, Leslie, although you're fair-skinned and light-eyed and prone to the ill-fated melanoma, this is only lentigo. Huh? Medical terminology for harmless spots. Prone to melanoma? Leslie, you're a very healthy young lady who worries too much. You can get dressed now. But if it would be reassuring, you could come back in a month and I'll check your entire body. Bye. I told you not to buy plants at gas stations. But she looks so healthy. Maybe if I talk to her. Talking can't save her now, Bernice. But she's not dead yet. It's only a matter of time. Granted, she's got a great pair of bulbs, but she's going to wither and die before the new year. Oh. Are you all right, dear? I guess not. So I says to Porter, if you ask me, the foreign kid's not playing with a full deck. 
never knows what team he's on. Says we all look alike. Dad, did I ever tell you how proud I am of you? I mean, even though I complain about how embarrassing it is to be in the same school, everyone respects you so much. I give it my best shot. Leslie, your mother makes sure you get the four basic food groups and you're trashing three of them. Mom, <laughs> it's so beautiful that every day you go to all this effort. It's just that I've lost my appetite. Well, that's very sweet, Leslie. Also very suspicious. Jennifer, you and I have certainly had our problems. Would it make you feel any better if I gave you my new silver bangles? The ones I'm not allowed to breathe on? Silver bangles aren't worth fighting over, no matter how expensive they are. I'll take them. You're welcome. I'll clear the table now. Am I the only one who finds this creepy? Your attention, please. This administration is not amused by the attack on our very own Venus in the Quad. You like this shit, huh? Mm, I like this shit very much. In America, it's considered the highest of compliments to say to your hostess after a good meal, thank you for the shit. And how you, how, how you say that? Thank you for the shit. Thank you for the shit. You got it. Some girls go for the exotic type. Yeah, Farouk, let us know if she's a moaner or a screamer. Hey, I had a screamer once she shattered her own glasses. Don't you guys talk about anything but sex? What else is there, Ed? Well, that's a tough one, Pittman. Don't pull a muscle working on it. Just stop by to warn you that you're chairman of the Christmas dance committee this year. Tell me when you get the committee put together. Oh, feel free to resume your insightful discussion. Mutant. Yeah, another example of virgin brain rot. Don't let that happen to you, okay? How's it going, Farouk? Ah, uh, don't look now, but here comes the lady that gives new meaning to the word hard on. Ah, uh, this is your lucky day. I saved this seat just for you. Sit on it, pal. Hello, Alan. Hi. Say, uh, aren't you in my bio class? I hadn't noticed. Oh, why don't you sit down and take a seat? I'm bad, but I don't bite. I do. I definitely bite. Come on, Alan. Hey, Alan. Who's the guy with the bow tie? We've got new friends with holidays, Hawaiian luau's, that cool cruises. Oh, everybody calls him Mushroom Malone. Mm-hmm. Bet I can guess why. <laughs> Any student caught with a substance commonly known as wacky glue will be subject to severe disciplinary action. Score one for the wacky glue phantom. Explosion. <laughs> It's also unreal. I feel like I ought to do something. No, there's nothing anybody can do now. I'll just go on pretending nothing's happened. Cramming a lifetime into three months. There's so much I want to experience. You mean? I always said I'd wait for the love of my life, but I guess I'll just have to settle for sex. <laughs> I gotta know if it's worth all the time we spent talking about it. Bad news. My research says the first time's never the best. Unless you go for someone really experienced. But it might be sweet if it was the first time for both of us. It might be the pits. I've heard it's harder than it looks. Yeah, really? Two dozen Shriners with rubber? Hey, later, babe. I think I just saw a major league pair of Yabo. Ooh. Ah! Hey! Ooh. Ah! Let's go. <laughs> I hear they call you a mushroom. You got any? You want to speak up? They didn't hear you in Nevada. Well, I figured with a name like that, you must be advertising. Would you sit down? It only takes one knock to ruin your whole day. Really? Gnarly. Doesn't this ever strike you as absurd? What? All these adolescents, desperate for human contact. 
You mean horny? Isolating themselves in their own little prisons on wheels. It's like a thousand lonely little worlds doing a mating relay down the highway of life. <laughs> hey, catch that. Tits and drugs. Give me a break. Max! You know something? I love you. <laughs> Pittman, you lunatic. Hey, now you think too much. That's your problem. You could use a problem like that, Max. <laughs> Leslie. Fate is calling you, Les. I'm huh? getting a busy signal. Think Max, Leslie. Oh, sometimes he gets this look in his eyes. I mean, this is a man who knows where to find your G-spot. Oh, Mel, I couldn't find my G-spot. I kissed him once in second grade. Oh, he was hot even then. <laughs> He's not interested in me, Mel. Well, you gotta be gutsy, Les. Just call him up and ask him out. All I can say is, no way, Jose. Right, then I just die of embarrassment. Like, what have you got to lose? Hey, Max. <laughs> How you doing? Is it too much to ask for someone dark and mysterious who reads and would talk about life all night by candlelight? I guess I'd better face reality. Boys are so immature. I'll get a diaphragm, settle for no frills sex. Why don't you take the floor, Farouk? And I'll get the main dish. No, she means it's your turn to talk. Oh, uh, hey. I, uh, I like United States very much. Uh, the people very, very funny to meet me. Uh, yeah, sit, sit down, Farouk. I have spent all day preparing your favorite native dish, Farouk. Stuffed beef heart. <laughs> and, you know, this makes me very funny to be here with you in America, my new family in the United States. I want to say to you now, as my best friend Max, teach me to say, Thank you. Thank you very much for this shit. They're all wacky glues, sir. Damn terrorist. This means war, Earl. No quarter given. Salamahagigaraba. Ah, oh, hell. Is Farduk here? He's always late. It's Farouk, coach. And it's prayer time in Mecca. Listen up! It took a long time to get funding for this new wrestling man. I want to see you treating it like your mom's best carpet. Carpenter? It don't hurt him, Carp. Get him, Carp. First time I did it was on my mom's best carpet. Left some rude rug burns on my knees. For a small price to pay, I'd do it on asphalt. Oh, you like pain with your pleasure. Hit on the Hindenburg. She's the pleasure and he's the pain. Leslie? Yeah. I wouldn't kick her out of bed for eating crackers. <laughs> Since you don't need to listen to this, why don't you demonstrate a takedown on Pittman? <laughs> Coach, he outweighs me by 100 pounds. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Easy, I don't want to hurt you, Pittman. <laughs> come on, you guys. Say no sock hop. Come on, come on, come on. Blood. Get the lid out. Come on there. Ah! Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, wow, man. Yeah. Shit, I'm sorry yeah. about your face. Get a hold the mat! Get some towels! Stop their bleeding! It's too late, coach. I think he's dead. No, you idiot! My man! He 
how about it, Max? Do I have the stuff to be a blue flamer? Well, you got the gas, Carp. Uh, how about a car? Well, Dad says I can have it back as soon as I pay for the paint job. Well, so cough up the bucks and then we'll talk. Okay. Alan, do you think your brother could get me a job over at the Lorelei? Please. I'll see what I can do. I can hardly wait to see what happens when you meet the fascinating flatworm. Like the sea squirt, it can reproduce asexually. Sometimes the tail decides not to follow the head and... Presto! The worm is 22. This is self-mutilation. Each part then regenerates a whole worm. Reproduction has taken place asexually. Oh, here he is. Eric March. <laughs> Eric March, this is your fourth tardy this week. Please go to your lab station immediately. Yeah, we'll be cutting some worm. Violent effect, man. Real new way. <laughs> hey, yo, Hindenburg. Why don't you sit down and take a load off your mind? <laughs> Mr. Pittman. Mr. Pittman, please. Please, give me that... balloon. <laughs> you may now begin to mutilate your flatworms. So you're scoping out the new girl, eh? Who? The one with the X-rated bod. No, I was talking to Sharon. The guy's unconscious. She's all yours. You snooze, you lose. Go. So what do you think of Nixon? So far, it's male and white all the way. And I thought Cleveland was straight. We'll try eating lunch on the football field someday. If the wind's blowing just right, half the town gets stoned. How about you, buddy? Do you puff up? No, that stuff kind of puts me to sleep. Uh-huh. No puff puff, huh? You always look so spacey. I guess I'm just naturally hard. Hi. Well, that's OK, too, I guess. Uh, excuse me, uh, people get stoned for doing something such as this. It seems cruel and unusual punishment. No, Farouk. Getting stoned is like smoking pot. Grass. Yeah. Oh. My dad was talking about you last night. He said you're pro material. Yeah, I have a good arm. He says you really stand out, a real team leader. He said that? He treats me like pond scum because I won't call it for football. Oh, you got it all wrong. You remind him of him when he was younger. He really likes you. Could have fooled me. So I was thinking that if you're not doing anything Friday night, maybe we could go out. Well, th yeah, that sounds okay, except that my, my Trans Am's in the shop. Yeah. Well, that's okay. I'll pick you up my Volvo. A Volvo. Uh, in that case, you're on. Her Volvo. <laughs> so how'd you make out with Liz? I think she's a loady. So? Just can't get the hang of these worms. There's less resistance when they're semi-conscious. We now return to the sand time. Hello, Derek. Why, oh, Matt? This is a surprise. Can I get you a drink? Max? No, no. Max, I need to talk to you, honey. I am very concerned about Farouk. No, he, he's been slightly under the weather lately. And and I'm afraid he feels somehow different from the rest of you boys. Face it, Mom, how many guys at Nixon pray during fourth period? Well, as his AFS sponsor, I can't help feeling responsible for the way he'll remember the United States. I mean, these are impressions he will carry with him for the rest of his life. Perhaps you should ask him to join your bridge club. I want you to take him with you tonight, Max. I have a date tonight. And I don't know about in Abu Dhabi, but here in the good old USA, only two people at a time go out on a date. Farouk hasn't had one single date since he's been here, Max. <laughs> well, I can't imagine why. He's had more offers in three weeks than I've had in three years. Please, reach out, Max. Oh, hello, you must be Leslie. Hi, Mrs. Holt. Hi, Max. Hi. You mind if Farouk joins us? In Abu Dhabi, women sit in ass of car. Fascinating, Farouk.
Peaceful pastures. Is this our destination? Ah, yes, peaceful pastures. Max, tell me all about this place. It's where people come, park the car, and make sneaky sex, no? <laughs> you might not believe this, but I come here a lot to meditate about life and death. Can we talk about something else? Um, in Abu Dhabi, we have a game. It's called, uh, how you say it, uh, sit on the bottle. Fruk, isn't it about prayer time in Abu Dhabi? No, 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 sun is down. It's up in Abu Dhabi. Okay, okay, okay I, I get you now, Max. I go pray. I go pray the coach not to find out. <laughs> I never take the hint. Let's not waste any more time. Uh, uh, Leslie, uh, this might not be the time to mention it, but <laughs> um, your father said that he would castrate anybody that laid a hand on you. Oh, you know he didn't mean it. Oh, well, well um, me and the guys, we weren't sure. Max, we're all alone. We may never pass this way again. Let's not talk about Daddy. It's about time he goes for my bra. Yeah. Oh my god, the hook's in the front. He'll never figure this out. Oh god, now he thinks I do this for a living. Oh. My hip bone is killing me. Okay, looks like he's gonna take the plunge. Brace yourself for rapture. Oh, my God. Oh, Leslie! Oh, no! Oh, oh no, no, no! Oh. I can't believe this. My dad is gonna kill me. No, he's gonna kill me. Holy shit. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Come on, you're slowing down, Holt! I told him, Leslie Hindenburg is lethal nookie. Okay, what a way to go. Line. Come on, hold up. Get on, move it, come on. Cross over, come on, come on, come on, come on. And even if I do get off restriction before I die, no guy in school will ever come near me again. I think you're overreacting. You didn't see my dad. I mean, we're talking Godzilla on PCP. The Volo is demoed. And that's nothing compared to what he did to Max. Okay, right off the guys at Nixon. Who else do you know? There's always Richard from Fillmore. You mean Richard Pittman's brother? You guys broke up two years ago. Only because I wouldn't let him get past second base. Huh. I thought it was because he had the personality of a bobby pin. He wanted me desperately, Mel. And he doesn't have my dad for P.E. Isn't that Liz? God, who'd ever thought her dad's a cop? No wonder she's so wild. Hi, girls. You know what the estimate is? 1,200 big ones. But she's been so angelic this past month. Doing the dishes without being asked, she even offered to polish my spoon collection, honey. A graveyard. What in the hell were they doing in the goddamn graveyard? They were teaching Farouk the American way of death, like she said. Now, what would the three of them do? I know what I'd do in a graveyard with you. 
Oh, Lester. Lester, she's been so, so good this past month. I just, I just hate to, to ruin it, you know? Take her off restriction. Oh, Lester. Oh, June. You know, when you do this to me, you always get your way. Young white male seeks bisexual white female twins with taste for Parmesan cheese. Hey, check it out. You know, sometimes it's easier to do it with a stranger. You're not suggesting I'm this desperate? Nah. Just because it's date night USA and you're spending it with your brother here at the Lorelei. Have uniform will travel. Experienced nurse seeks inexperienced male for hands-on training. Call Inga at 555-575. Give me my zombie. Eight hours in this hellhole for $5.63. Cheer up, sunshine. Didn't Renata say something about a raise? Oh, that slimy cheese bag. He wants to talk it over in a room. Man, he tries anything. A mace's face. Look at it this way. At least the nurse would be enthusiastic. Hello. May I please speak to Inga? Yeah, this is Inga Borg. Uh, yeah, I'm calling about your ad in the... Uh, yeah, sure. What is your name? How old are you? And uh, do you have any infectious diseases? Uh, my name is Alan. I'll be 18 in June, and I don't have herpes. Uh, tonight is available. Can you get a room? Not now, Gunner. Uh, just come to the lounge at the Lorelei and ask the bartender for the room number. Goodbye. So, how does one go about getting a room? Give me a shooter. You know, I spent an hour on the John in 319 and it's still backed up. I have had enough of this Roach Motel for one day. Three nineteen is yours. Get the master key from Carp. Where's he now? Does that answer your question? I know what's keeping Inga. Uh, I'll go see if the coast is clear, okay? Okay. Good evening, Mr. Renata. Is everything under control, Carpenter? Uh, it's all hunky dory, sir. Except for the toilet. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Carpenter! Sir, I can explain everything. So you've been talking to Sunshine. I really dig the bubbly. Nice touch, kid. I ain't pleased, sir. Is TV working? Ship shape, sir. I mean, ship safe. Whatever, safe. Carpenter, whatever. Now, when you see Sunshine, tell her Mr. Goodbar is waiting on her. OK, promise, sir. Have a swell evening now. Let it deep and let it leave. Don't believe it. I'm a sentimental kind of guy. Kind of timid, even a little shy. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're early, my little raisinette. Oh, no, I always come on time. Jesus. If only all women could say the same. Dressed up for Dr. Renata. Oh. I like that. You sound older oh. than you did on the phone. Sunshine? Uh -huh. Ellen? What the hell? <laughs> Frick. You want something else, Sunshine? Mm -mm. On the house, of mm -mm. course. <laughs> okay, hit me. <laughs> I have not had so much fun since Renata broke his pinky in the gas register. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad it wasn't a schwam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah! You oh. respond well to discipline. Ah! Ah! No. Ah! Don't panic. Ah! Do it for you, bitch. Ah! God 
damn you, Carpenter. Come on, Sammy, you can be late. Male squid swims frantically, searching for a female to mate with. The story of my life. <laughs> then the squid slips one of his long, supple tentacles deep inside his own mantle and withdraws several gelatinous packages of sperm. Commonly known as jerking off. He then thrusts his sperm deep into the female's body cavity. Mmm, how romantic. What happened to foreplay? The finale of this oceanic orgy. Yes, class. Unfortunately, all the squid expire. Hey, Mac. Sounds like you and Hindenburg. Lights, Ed. <laughs> Mr. Pittman, simply breathtaking. Gave me goose pimples. Almost makes you want to be a squid. All right, class, let's get to our lab stations. Hey, Liz, where's your retainer? Shut up, kid. Max, Pittman says that the Blue Flamers are having a meeting at the drive-in this weekend. So? Well, I paid off the paint job. I mean, I can get my dad's car. Well, we'll take that into consideration, Carp, whenever we uh, discuss right, membership. Class, today, you'll start dissecting your very own squid. After removing its mantle, be sure to determine its sex. And, Class, please be very careful with the gonads. They're quite delicate. You actually ate one of those? Ah, oh, squid. It's very good. With ink. Well, I'll try anything once. Anything? I'll take you up on that this weekend. You mean... Like, go out or something? Well, I was thinking about it. There's something I'd like to talk to you about alone. It may be important. It's very important. It's more important than you think. Friday night OK? Perfect. Hello? Hello, may I please speak to Richard? Just a minute, dear. Les! Hello, Richard? Hi, this is Leslie Hindenburg. Yeah, long time no see. Well, the reason I'm calling is, is I got to thinking about how much fun we used to have together. And, and I thought maybe you, you, you'd like to get together, you know, for old time's sake. Like maybe this weekend. Oh, I think we have lots to talk about, you know. I've matured a lot, Richard. <laughs> Sure, sure, I'll return your Van Halen records. Okay, great. I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye. Talk about hard up. Isn't he the one with the personality of a bobby pin? I've changed, Jennifer. I'm sure he has, too. Now, get out of here. Out, out, out. Oh, uh, fine. Michael, the girls in the flower brothel won't disappoint you. The car. Is there something wrong? I'm afraid so, Alan. I have something I have to tell you. It's Mushroom Malone, isn't it? No, it's worse than Mushroom. Something wrong? Just... hold me, Richard. L Leslie, uh... You used to love it when I kissed your neck, remember? And I remember when you used to kiss my ears. It drove me crazy. Oh! When did you pierce your ears? Hey, hey fasten your seatbelts, Flamers. I had Brussels sprouts, baked beans, and date bars. Yes! Yes! I, had, I had Swedish meatballs, lentil loaf, marinated artichokes, bonbons, oh! with brood whip. Max, tell me now, what is this Blue Flamers? I'm not who you think I am. There's a lot you don't know about me, a great deal, very much. Why pry? I know all I need to know. No, you don't know. I do know. You may not want to know. What could I possibly know that would make me know you better than I know you now? Alan, I'm a narc, police officer, and I finished my assignment at Nixon.
Mushroom and 36 others are going to be busted on Monday, and I'll be starting over again somewhere else. Another high school, another district, another town. That's what it means to be a narc. You're the only one I'm going to miss when I'm gone, Alan. Those pillheads and potheads deserve what they get. A one-way ticket to the slammer. Is anybody going to know that it was me? Not unless you tell them. Oh, no chance in hell. I can keep a secret. I knew I could trust you, Alan. And I had to tell you because... Well, even though I'm 30 and you're 17, I'm really attracted to you, Alan. Of course, having sex with a minor could get me off the force, and I have my career to consider. But honestly, Alan, I get all hot and weak when I'm kissing you. Let's not talk about wasted youth, Alan. Kiss me again, and the woman and me will throw this badge out the window and live for the now. Um, Liz, that is your name, isn't it? It's Kathy. Reagan. No relation. I think I just want to go home. Everybody got a light? Everybody got a light? Light. light. To the eternal blue flame. To the eternal blue flame. To the eternal blue flame. <laughs> Max! Max! That went. Max! Hey! Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, wait, I think I've got one. Oh, oh shit. Lord. Probably a little poop. Yeah, a little poop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Look at that. Huh? Oh. He's on fire. Oh, oh, you shit. You're sick. You guys are sick. I, I really want to make it up to you. Well, Leslie, you don't have to do that. But I want to, Richard. I want you. I want... I want to let you do everything I wouldn't let you do before. Everything. Leslie? Leslie, I'm... I'm involved with somebody else right now. I don't care if you marry her, Richard. I just want to have you once. Get her? Leslie, I can't. Yes, I you can, watch. Richard. Remember how you used to always... Want me to... What, what are you doing? Leslie, he wouldn't understand! He? Decent. What's wrong with me anyway? I never break out. I use a deodorant. People say I have a cute personality. But my sex appeal is enough to turn my old boyfriend off women. I'm trying to be an easy lay. Doesn't that count anymore? Up here. Don't take it personally, Les. According to my mom, a lot of guys these days can't get it up and get it in. For years, my dad's been telling me teenage boys want just one thing. I always thought he meant girls. Hey, Sharon, Miss Bismarck says everyone suits up, even if you are menstruating. I hate that word. My mom always says, is Aunt Tilly coming to visit? <laughs> Mine just calls it the curse. <laughs> girls! <laughs> Imagination or is Sharon Mondo pregnant? You don't know that for sure. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's just a tune. It's not funny, Mel. I wonder who the daddy is. Moby Dick! <laughs> Okay, this is 
This is it. D-Day. All right, but listen now. I want you to remember, you're radio mic'd. You got guys sitting in a van about two blocks from here if you get in any kind of trouble. Sharon, what's going on? Oh, I'm leaving school. But Ted had acted like I was contagious. I said, look, buddy, there's no way you're going to catch what I've got. You're kicked out? He said, school policy. You can transfer to night school. I said, what about my job at the med center? He said, take it like a man. <gasps> That's not fair. Ruin your whole life. Who's talking fair? We're in high school. Correction, I was in high school. Though, so, uh, his father. Just a guy. He said, I can't deal with this. I said, that's cool with me. Sharon, you don't have to tell me this is too personal. Was it any good the first time? It wasn't great. But we did it again and it got better. Really? Wow. Do you really want this baby? Well, part of me says, what a drag. But another part of me says, you're a big girl, Sharon. You can handle this. And besides, then I'll have someone to talk to. God. I just wish the father would call everyone. I'll probably never see him now that I'm out of here. You're not out of here yet. What do you mean? I've been very selfish. I've been thinking sex was more important than anything. I want to leave my mark in this world, and it's got to be more than a wet spot in somebody's back seat. Definitely the work of a genius. But is it art? Sounds like wacky glue to me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Certainly, Sharon has a constitutional right to graduate. But she can do that at night school, as I told her. But she's not a threat to anybody else's education. High school is not a democracy, Leslie. Think of it as the Marines. Will the Russians take us seriously for let non-coms call the shots? Hell no. First, they'd, they'd laugh their heads off. And then they'd airmail the big one. I don't want to start a war, Mr. Porter. I'd just like to see Sharon graduate with the rest of us. Ah, that you bend over to accommodate one individual, and the next thing you know, you can't sit down for a month. Do you know what's going on out there? No, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Tears of joy streamed from little Tammy Larson's one eye the other day when Santa Claus paid an early visit to her hospital bed. She may never... Potato Head has no principles, just Tammy regulations. Hold it, Les. The life. love of my life is speaking right. to me. The twinkle in Santa's eye will be just a memory for Tammy. Unless now there's a man with principles. You can see it in his eyes. May save her sight. The Larsons, however, have already exhausted... Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> so the lights will get dimmer and dimmer for tiny Tammy until the final blackout. Unless... Unless you and I. I knew you'd understand, Mr. Vincent. It's a tragic story that needs to be heard. Me? I'm a highly placed person at Nixon. You could just think of me as Deep Throat. Meet you in person? At the Lorelei? All right. Goodbye, Mr. Vincent. Ted. Did you hear that? You said just call me Ted. No, I said you kill you. Oh, God, what am I going to wear? Think sophisticated, Les. If he finds out highly placed means a senior at Nixon, he'll never lay a hand on you. I could pull it off. Let him do that. Leslie, I hate for that girl. But these days... It's a fucking quadriplegic to ring those tear ducts in TV land. But even though she's not a quad, if you'd seen her cleaning out her locker, cleaning out her dreams, it would break your heart. Hey, hey, relax, huh? Relax. Let's not start a downer here. Come on. Just relax. Surrender to your shoulder blades, Leslie. Today is the first day. 
for the rest of your life. Yeah, really? Eslin taught me to feel, Leslie. Now I suck up life like a newborn baby. When I make love, and I make love, Leslie, I don't screw anymore. I go all the way to infinity. I think you and I could find infinity maybe three or four mm -hmm. times tonight. Excuse me a minute, I have to use the bathroom. Hey, I'll order a champagne for blast off. Oh, huh? that would be wonderful. <laughs> hey, Mr. Dinko, we ain't running a daycare center here. But boss, he's my kid, okay? Maybe the Sheridan's a better place for the Christmas ball. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't you tell me some business calls? Here, give a kid a drink. Hey, about time, Carp. Oh, 302 needs a bottle of champagne. It's halfway there. No, it's right here. <laughs> what kind of budget you working with? Wow, Ted Vincent. There you are, kid. Thanks, sir. <clears throat> yeah, hey. Oh. Thanks. Sorry. You know, Leslie, people like that pathetic bellboy think I have everything. Nobody sees the heartache that goes with being so handsome, famous. Oh, the diaphragm was a dome down and pressed the opposite sides of the rim together between the thumb and third finger. <sighs> Boy, this one's a mother. Come on, Les, millions of women do this every day. I'll bet you do everything with a savage intensity. I know I do. What are you doing so intensely in there? Just have a check-in by the 15th. And uh, don't worry about the food. Our meatballs are the talk of the town. Especially a poison control. <laughs> you found the way to his heart, kid. Well, where's Carp? I know where he is. Follow me. Oh, shit. He's in here. Fix this bastard. Carp, come out, come out, wherever you are. I, I think he's in the back. You can't really hear anything back there. Carp? Ah, at last. I thought maybe you fell in. Ambrosia? Thank you. Climb aboard the magic carpet. Can we turn down the lights? I just want to make it especially in a romantic. You're here, Leslie. That makes you special. And I'm a special guy. I was hoping it would mean as much to you as it does to me. <laughs> it does. It means a lot to me. I canceled a bunny for you. But let's not talk about me. <laughs> Listen, don't be so uptight, kid. You got nothing to worry about. I simply want you to relax, lay back, and enjoy. Just let old Roberta take complete charge here. Do I have a choice? Now, the first thing we're gonna do is drop the drawers. That's oh, okay. You got to peel the banana <laughs> before you can eat it. Jeez, you don't mess around, do you? I take my men like I take my liquor, straight and hard. <laughs> 
Well, I come see. on, come on. Hey, now, just wait a second here. Nothing uh, personal, precious, but uh, I've seen the heartache of herpes. I can't. This is all wrong. Hey. I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> I thought you wanted to help Sharon. I do, but not like this. Hey, now, look. You do for me, and I do for you. That's what good sex is all about. Oh, please don't. I really never thought it would come to this. Baby, you haven't seen anything yet. I'm going to take you to Mars. Oh! I'm 17 years old, Mr. Vincent, and you can take it to Uranus. You're 17? And even if I never turn 18, I'm going to get Sharon back in school with or without your help. Hey, now look, there's no need to panic. You know, I'm dying to do that story on your friend. Pregnant, teenager, no future. Wow, what a hook. Do you think we can get some air in here? Gee, you really know how to kill a mood, kid. Like I said, don't do much to the atmosphere. That's okay, kid. Whenever you're ready, you know where to find me. Hi, Tiger. Listen, sweetie, I'm over here at the Lower Lion. I'm holding a ticket to paradise. Can you meet me in 45 minutes? Ciao. Alan, what are you doing here? Uh, just looking for the car. He's never around when you need him. What are you doing here? Um, my Aunt Tilly's coming to visit. She's a cleanliness fanatic. I was checking out the rooms. Yeah, you know? I guess so. Hey, you want me to walk you in your car? You never know who's gonna jump you in a place like this. Well, it seems that Mr. Bones is caught up in the holiday spirit. <laughs> Highly amusing. <laughs> Stuck on you with wacky glue, Miss Bones. <laughs> Leave him alone, he's blind. So much for Mr. Bones' humorous. <laughs> Been a critical call, and now we'll never know. I've obtained a delightful film on the reproductive system of the horny toad. Please be advised that this material will be covered in Friday's quiz. <laughs> now that we've all had our fun, perhaps someone other than I might hoist the projector into place. Please, Ed, help me now. She releases thousands of eggs. As they come tumbling out of her, we spew sperm all over them. I think that you'll agree with me that in its own way, their courtship is almost elegant. Get a grip on yourself. 
Earl, you better check it out. Yes, sir. It was horrible. It was horrible. I mean, I know it's a natural function. Birds do it. Bees do it. Everybody does it. But it's all they think about. It's all I think about. Come on. Snap <laughs> out of it. Come on. Heads up. Heads up. Shoulders back. Suck in that gut. Yes, sir. Now, you got to stop behaving like a woman. In this outfit, you are an officer. You got that. Oh, yes, sir. Well, pull it together. <gasps> Take that hill. Thank you, sir. Yes. I'll do my best, sir. Yes. <laughs> Women. Our school system, it's designed to make productive citizens of our youth. Or is it? Did I miss anything? Vincent Senior, Sharon. Ted Vincent's on, honey. Sharon attends classes at the Med Center. She is intelligent, she is ambitious, she is also pregnant. And there's the rub. It seems that the school system would rather see Sharon on the welfare roll than attending classes at Nixon. Does the school system care that this destroys her dreams of a career in health services? But Sharon's classmates do. Meet the people responsible. There Karen's she is. Story to our attention. Leslie Hindenburg and Melanie Taylor. Miss Hindenburg, community close-up would like to know why, in this age of apathy, you cared enough to get involved. I saw wrong and tried to right it. We hate all injustice. But weren't you worried that your actions might label you as a little troublemaker? It just didn't seem important. I think what Miss Hindenburg is trying to say is that she had the compassion to put her own future on the line for her friend. Not many of us would be so unselfish. Not many of us have only six weeks to live. <laughs> Leslie wants to use her final days to do something no! unkind. Uh, we'll be right back with more on this inspirational story, live and exclusively on Community Close Up. We'll be right back with more news after a word from our sponsor. Well, that's just the question I was going to ask you. What's wrong with your daughter? How the hell should I know? You're the doctor. Well, it's a harmless mole. She's not going to die. She's not? No, and I did not tell her she was going to die. You didn't? No, Leslie's fine. Good night. Somebody's got some explaining to do. I knew it was too good to be true. But I overheard Dr. Fox say... It's only a mole, damn it! They're rarely fatal, honey. Wait till everyone at school finds out. If you tell anyone I'm gonna live, I'll kill you. Hey, Hinda... Leslie. Yeah. Give me five, buddy. So hey, you did good, you know. I'm, I'm real proud of you. Thanks, Tim. Um, I'm sure you'd have done the same thing. <laughs> Hell no, I'd probably be too busy trying to get laid or something. Hey, Leslie, Leslie. You know, I was just, I was just thinking I'm really gonna miss that look on your face, you know, when you get really pissed off. Thanks, Tim. But the doctor says I might be in remission. Uh, Miss Hindenburg, my deepest sympathy, and it may ease your mind to know that Sharon will be coming back. That's great. Oh. No prints, sir. Nice fish. <laughs> No, Max. Mr. Holt! Oh, you're a real comedian, aren't you, son? I like to laugh, if that's what you mean. Uh, hey, son, if that's the way you want to play it, you just remember that I've got you under surveillance. And sooner or later, you're gonna step into your own glue. It'll be my turn to laugh. Ha! Ha! <laughs> no lie, Allison. She never was gonna die. That's what her little sister told my little sister. Hi, Candy. Thanks for the card. Hold on to it. Someday you might even die for real. <laughs> Some people will do anything for attention. Hi, Leslie. I can't believe what you did. Tell you everybody you were dying. I mean, everybody was saying what it did. I said, there goes a true friend. Well, 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 if it isn't the girl who would not die. <laughs> in, in, in Abu Dhabi, nobody die. You just come back in a different body. Yeah, Hannah Burke. Next time, come back with a boob job. <laughs> now, class, today we climax our adventure with a look at human reproduction. Unlike the promiscuous alley cat, humans may mate for love. In the process of careful selection, humans can increase the odds of passing on desirable genes. Like Big J! Oh! Oh! Thank you, Mr. Pittman. For instance, can you do this? <laughs> You'll find that some of you can touch the tip of your nose with your tongue, and some of you simply cannot. I can. 
Why don't you try and then look around and grab the results? Go ahead, try it. Hey, Leslie, glad to see you're still around to pass your jeans on to some little Hindenburgers. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Pittman. It's all I can do to get out of bed and live through another day. When they started laughing, part of me died. All I can do is pretend I don't care and move to Outer Mongolia when I graduate. I can't stand the silent treatment. Yell at me if you want, but say something. Too late to kiss up now, rat face. As far as I'm concerned, I am now an only child. Mom's really worried about you. She and Dad are talking about shrinks. Unnecessary. Tomorrow night's the Christmas ball. Ask me if I care. But, Leslie, you were doing a lot more living when you thought you were dying. Now that you're living, you act like you're dead. That's so heavy, I don't know if I can grasp it. I thought high school was supposed to be the neatest time in a girl's life. Whatever gave you that idea? I can't believe what my mother had the gall to serve for dinner last night. Roast lamb's head marinated in olive oil. I almost puked. Farouk, he loved it. What smut are you reading now? Whoa, we're talking serious desperation here, Alan. Can I see it when you're finished? I sure could use it. Ha uh ha, -huh. don't make me laugh. No, no, really. Guess how many times I've scored this year. No thanks, it'll only depress me. Zero. Nada, zip, zilch, nil, and void. Farouk moved in and my social life moved out. I can't go anywhere alone now. Except for the John. Even that's not safe. The guy doesn't knock. I'm gonna die a virgin, Max. I'm looking forward to 50 years plus of today's celibacy. again, are you? Give me good head. Yeah, if only you could. You know, the only thing I need to make this party just perfect is a beautiful woman to love me. <laughs> yeah, I can relate. They're not hard to find if you look, Max. She might be just a step away, just waiting for you to ask her to dance. Looking 
good. What's the punch? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. That's good. Oh, okay. Oh, Arms. Yeah. Doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Have a good day, eh? Two of these babies for a room. Those? Um, red pills give me hives. Aren't you on probation? Oh, that's a point, man. I, I can't party in public these days. Hey, Miss Post! Are you having a good time? Oh, yes, thank you very much, Mr. Holt. I am. Mr. Holt, might I have some of that ethanol tucked under your coat there? Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Very fine. Carry on. Melanie. I give you a box of candy, and then you go out with me, all right? Thanks anyway, the chocolate must be break out. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's 104! Dinko. Mr. Dinko, would you like to dance with me? I love this woman. Love is a four-letter word. Yes, who? Well, it sure ain't Santa Claus. I met some great connections at drug school. You name it, I can get it. Oh, no thanks, I never touched that stuff. Hey, mellow out, Ed Steen! Sit down and party! Thanks, I, I like the view from here. Oh, uh, you want to change your mind? I mean, it changed the way I looked at things like the meaning of life, death, and sex. You left out love. I didn't think I had time for that. Yeah, me neither. I just wanted to get laid. You mean you haven't either? <laughs> when I was a girl, we learned Latin in school and sex in the streets. Now, how are they going to learn Latin in the streets? <laughs> well, I'll have to think oh. about that one, Mrs. Fish. <laughs> Will you excuse me just for a moment? Just a moment. <laughs> Melanie, you need new clothes. I buy you a dress. You go out with me. See, Max? Farouk's got the right idea. All you have to do is ask. Give her an offer she can't refuse. Melanie, I buy you Mercedes. You go out with me. Come off it, Farouk. You cannot buy her a Mercedes. Yes, I can, Max. I have uh, uh, four in Abu Dhabi and many, many traveler's checks. But then what are you doing riding around with me? I like you, Max. Besides, I have chauffeur in Abu Dhabi. Oh. <laughs> Gee, Farouk, I didn't know you were into expensive German cars. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, but from now on, I set my own shifts at four fifty an hour, plus tips. You got it. Ah! 
Excuse me. It's the wrong room. God damn that carpenter. Come on. I swear he said room 105 was... Hey, buddy. You know where I can get some ice in this roach motel? Carpenter! Now give me that fuck. Give me the fuck. Oh. Fuck it, you break it, you pay for it. <laughs> hey, Carp, do something. This guy's got a burr up his butt. Give me the fuck. it. Oh. The carpenter? <laughs> You know, what's going on in here? Man, turn out the lights. Yeah, well, I'm gonna personally turn out the lights on every one of you pups if you don't get the hell out of here. Hey, mister, why so tense? Out! I'd still be in the closet if Inga hadn't suggested they try a new therapy in the shower. <laughs> Someone, when you're talking about it, makes it seem less painful. And see, at least we're laughing about it. I mean, at school, you always look so serious. I didn't think you noticed. I mean, you thought it took someone like Liz to get your attention. Now, if I look like her... Well, I like the way you look better. Okay, you're gonna pay for this. I'm gonna call the cops! Hey, Carp. Man, I'm really sorry. I just wanna get some ice. I know a good place to park. I'll park anywhere in a Mercedes. I want to make some toast for you. Max, my best friend in the United States. I thank you for your hostilities. There's nothing, you know? I owe Max so many nothings. I mean, until tonight, talking to girls was like relating to aliens from outer space. <laughs> I mean, you seem to clue in what I'm saying before I've even said it. Leslie, would you like to, um... be happy just talking all night long. We could just talk? No! door to ensure privacy. What do you mean? You're the phantom? I don't reveal myself to just anybody. 
neither do I. moment in my life when only my heart can say what's right I hear a voice from somewhere deep inside Here's to the person I'll become After the battle's finally won I can look back and say I gave my all I know my dreams are coming I'll be sharing them all with you forever. Tonight, we're reaching for the stars. They'll be shining wherever we are forever. Sharing them all with you forever. 